This event, the men's 400 meters hurdles, well, only four men in history have ever gone below 47 seconds, and two of them are in this race this evening. Rai Benjamin and Abdurrahman Sanba. Let's take you through the lineup then. David Kinzera goes in lane eight from the USA, from the University of Illinois, made the Diamond League final uh, last year. It's been in great form so far. In seven, also from the US, Kenneth Selman. Pan American Games under 20 silver medalist. He goes in lane seven. In six, look out for this man, only 20 years old from Brazil, the Pan Am Games champion, world junior bronze, ran 47.68 in Walnut in California in May. Alessandro Dos Santos. Now, Rai Benjamin with the trademark headband said that he believes in his heart of hearts that the world record. Kevin Young's 29-year-old world record will go one day, but it's just a question of not forcing it. Just let it come naturally, and it will happen. He goes in lane five. Samba, Abdurrahman Samba, on home soil. His first 400 meters hurdles since those world championships in uh, September 2019. But he ran 45-43 on the flat in uh, South Africa a few weeks ago. Karen McMaster. In the white vest from uh, British Virgin Isles goes in lane three. Denied bronze at the World Championships by Samba two years ago. Yasmani Capello, 34 years old now, still a fearsome competitor, the former Cuban Olympic bronze medalist in Rio in 2016. He's in two and completing the lineup. Big time performer Thomas Barr, 28 years old now, European bronze medalist, fourth at the last Olympics, remember, in Rio. This is his first race since those World Championships in Doha, just down the road at the Khalifa Stadium. But Samba, equal third on the all-time list, 46.98, identical time with Rai Benjamin. That world record, remember, which has stood since 1992, Kevin Young, 46.78. First event then here in Doha on a sultry, hot and humid evening. Samba in four, Benjamin in five. Men's 400 meters hurdles. Seven. Well, Benjamin likes to go out hard, and the advantage, of course, of Samba is that he's got Benjamin in his sights, and it was uh, Rai Benjamin with that lovely, smooth action. He was a smooth talker in the press conference yesterday. Also going well, he's made a really good start. Is Dos Santos, second from left of picture, really blasting through these first 200 metres. There he is, Dos Santos, brilliant, elegant style, and uh, Benjamin has got a bit of work to do here. Samba is falling back. It's his first race of the year, but watch out for Benjamin. He's clipped that one. Benjamin and Dos Santos. Dos Santos maybe is paying for it now and going a little bit too hard in that first 200 metres into the home straight. Benjamin coming through. Let's keep an eye on the clock. It's Benjamin and Dos Santos also going well. McMaster on the inside, but Benjamin stretching for the line. Let's keep an eye on the time. 47.39. Well, he was saying perhaps another sub-47 second performance, but 47.39.
brilliant win there from Rai Benjamin, but he was pushed all the way there by Alison Dos Santos, who perhaps in the early stages went a little bit too hard and paid for it towards the end. But Rai Benjamin, who ran 47 and bits in California just a few weeks ago, it's a meeting record and it's another win and lays down a marker, Steve, for Tokyo in, what, nine weeks' time? Yeah, interesting. I actually watched these three uh, running in the States at the Mount Sacriles uh, recently. Uh, and Dos Santos is the one who's moved on here. He really took it to Benjamin, had to work hard. Benjamin was supreme in that race in the uh, Mount Sac and came through again strongly as he did here. He clipped a couple of hurdles coming in. I think it was hurdle eight was perhaps his worst. But Master not quite on terms with Dos Santos. But as we all look forward to... Tokyo, of course, we're looking for Valhom, but look at Samba. He's the one who's really got to step up. You're, you, you've talked about the only four men ever under 47 seconds, three of them current, Valhom, Benjamin, Samba, but Samba looks as though he's got a bit of work to do, doesn't he? If he's going to be really in the mix come Tokyo, but so far so good. A new stadium record for Benjamin. There's the result. 47-38, good start, and an excellent uh, season continues for, for Rai Benjamin and Samba, as you say, with all the work to do, and uh, Karsten Vaham, I'm sure, watching on with great interest. And now to introduce the field in the Vodafone men's 400-meter hurdle. <laughs> Representing the United States in 2019 U.S. fifth at the U.S. Championships, David Penzira. <laughs> Seven, representing the United States in 2018, he was the U.S. champion, 